we're here with Louise Burns at the AU Review for the Canada Down Under show. There we go. Um, That's right. Great so job. welcome to Australia. Thank you. So is this your first time touring here? Yeah, it's my first time. Have you managed to kick the jet lag yet? Is it? I think so. I don't know. I've just been drunk the whole time. No, I'm kidding. I haven't. Well, I it have, helps. Kind of. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the flight over, you start off, I was saying, with the free drinks, yeah, right? Absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. The first day, we were pretty fucked up. But the second day... <laughs> I, f I feel like you're just in a new place. You're stimulated. Everything's exciting. Yeah, so exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so just get right into the music. Um, your your album just came out, um, Young Mopes. That's right. This year. So yeah. how was the critical reception for that? It's been really good. It's been really good. It's my third record. And uh, the one I put out before, I think it was like four years ago. It's been a long time. And, yeah. And uh, sound is kind of, kind of similar, kind of changed, but... So far, it's been very much well received. I'm very happy with that. So your previous albums, um, one of them was uh, nominated for the Polaris Prize, right? Yeah, and so was Young Mopes as well. So did you yeah. find there was like a pressure to live up to that again on this new album? Kind or, oh, of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, kind of. I think, I don't know. It's hard to care about that stuff because <laughs> it's really cool that people, you know, put you in that category. It's, it's totally an honor, but it's also like, I'm not going to write an album in order, like, I'm not trying to do that. So, uh, yeah, the, the most successful times I have in music is when I don't give a shit about anything. Yeah. <laughs> and you, so I really didn't care. <laughs> you've got to write it for yourself and hope that yeah. everyone else likes it too, right? Exactly. If they yeah. don't, not a big deal. Yeah. Well, yeah. is it though? I would, I would no, be upset. <laughs> I don't care at all. I mean, I'm starting to as I get older, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think the people who like my music like it for a certain reason. And yeah. that's generally because I do my own thing and I don't really yeah. adhere to the... Well, I feel like there's a lot of um, Fleetwood Mac sound in it. How do you feel yeah. about that comparison? I've seen it said a few cool. times. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's awesome. I get yeah, the Stevie not? Nicks voice a lot, and I'm totally cool with that. Yeah, it's and she total has compliment. such a good look too, right? Yeah, so. she's great looking. Yeah, yeah. totally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so you said you like to um, perform cover songs. I, um, so have you ever had any songs where you go to maybe... Uh, you want to cover them but you go oh I won't be able to like top that oh yeah everything. yeah I mean I bar barely cover songs because I'm like I'm just not capable of bringing anything <laughs> new to the things I like so much okay we actually did cover Fleetwood Mac though here in Australia and I we played a show in Byron Bay a few days ago and I noticed the crowd obviously they had no idea who it was and that's fine because yeah. this is my first time but when we played Dreams they're like yeah yeah I was like okay so I it get it there's a point to having a cover in your set but generally, I pick songs on my records to cover that are, you know, really great. I connect with them, but I feel like I can maybe offer a new twist on them. Mm -hmm. Not to make them better, just to sort of... Make them your own. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. Um, so you broke your hip on stage before, right? Your music <laughs> yeah. seems pretty relaxed, so how did that even happen? Oh, man. It was not. It was in my other band, Golden Youth. Um, we're kind of like an electronic band, and... I, I dance a lot in that band, but I broke my hip walking off stage carrying oh, gear. Very Keith. Oh, okay. It was wasn't say, cool. Keith Richards esque. It, but. No, it wasn't even a good story. I was completely <laughs> sober. It was 3 p.m. and I was carrying guitars, and there was a bunch of chords. It was like a makeshift stage, and I I caught myself incorrectly on my leg, and I <laughs> I felt something, and I was like, oh no, this really hurts. And yeah. I didn't know it was broken for a year though, because doctors don't tell you unless you. At you least, know. at least we have free healthcare in Canada. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You kind of get what you pay for. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not complaining <laughs> at all, but I'm also kind of like, hmm. Also, kind of complaining. Why did it take a year to figure this out? But yeah. it's, it's, it's. I'm relatively healed now. It's okay. That's good. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, the performance tonight it won't affect it. it won't affect it. No. Um. So speaking of your past bands, um, you were in the band Lilix when you were very yes. young. Yeah. Um. So how have you found that it's changed creatively moving from from that to now being a solo artist for so um, long now. Lilic started off as a basement band of a bunch of preteen girls. Yeah. And uh, we wanted to be famous, successful pop stars. And for some <laughs> and reason, did. we did it. I don't know how that happened, but we did. Um, but Lilix became very much like corporate pop. And that world was too much for me at the time. I'm not so uh, afraid of it now, but at the time it was very much like write songs that mm. you don't connect with and make it radio friendly. And, and you made a few soundtracks too, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, we were in Lindsay Lohan films. Yeah, and, no uh, big deal back yeah, then. No yeah, no big deal, yeah, totally. <laughs> it was awesome, it was crazy, it was a crazy experience, but uh, now it wasn't 
creative freedom, really. We had, mm. we had to always write the single and make sure we had something that would go on radio and the record. Yeah. And nowadays, I'm just happy if a person hears it on Spotify so that the pressure isn't there. However, I do I do miss a lot about it. I miss the constant work. I love how much mm-hmm. you just, you're busy all the time, and I do miss that. Yeah. Well, what I thought was interesting, it's kind of like the Runaways, or how your bandmate had to lie about her age. Yeah. 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 So do you think the, like... The industry is still like that. Do you still have to sell youth and? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah. yeah, I think it's getting a little bit better because there has been a little bit more tolerance towards female artists in particular. I mean, when mm-hmm. we were young, when we put out our first record, all we got was like they slept with so and so to get a record deal, and they don't play their instruments, they don't write their songs because we were girls, and we're like, actually, we write we everything, we play everything. And we didn't sleep with anybody to get here. Yeah. But okay, do your thing. <laughs> Nowadays, it's a little, there's like the feminist, feminism has become a little bit more mainstream again. Let's hope it stays there. Yeah. And um, yeah, I don't know. But it, it's definitely, I don't know. I think often I just feel happy that I'm still doing this. But you know, I'm not going to, I'm not a Britney Spears. I'm not going to do that anytime <laughs> soon. No one wants to see that. <laughs> so since then, what do you think is the biggest lesson you've learned just coming so far now? Um probably just um do it for the right reasons and uh don't give up as cliche as it sounds yeah i I found my way to australia somehow right that's pretty cool yeah and uh yeah just um it can be a really dark industry i've seen a lot of depression a lot of really bad stuff can go on if you let it and uh, all you got to do is be like hey this is hilarious we're just a bunch of humans making some music how fun I mean the negativity of it can also be turned into music inspiration totally, yeah, absolutely yeah. yeah take it and make it positive and stay positive yeah, yeah exactly so speaking of new music um do you have anything are you working on anything now or yeah I've got about half a record written um I'm sort of figuring out when to record it and uh, okay yeah I'm hoping to put something out early next year though just to keep keep myself occupied <laughs> yeah can you tell us anything about it um it's a little bit more dancey actually um been okay. listening to a lot of like talk talk and a lot of like uh massive attack and just i'm really more into electronic music right now and yeah. not to say i won't use guitars darcy my guitar player is fucking talented beyond words but they'd probably um, be angry if if you yeah, weren't using like, guitars but he does love the pet shop boys so if i started writing like pet shop boys songs he'd be okay with that too okay. but uh yeah it's just a little bit more upbeat and um a little bit more fun and a little bit more challenging and uh yeah just i want to make new sounds uh, okay yeah cool yeah. well we look forward to hearing that and uh thank, thank you. you for joining us thanks for having me all right <laughs>